Welcome to the kingdom. Hello and welcome to Selah Moments. This is Selah Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. I have the privilege of being the pastor of the Kingdom of God Christian Center in Round Rock, Texas. I am excited and delighted that you have chosen to join me in these next few minutes as I give you a Selah thought from God's Word. I want to say shout out to my wife and family and to our Kingdom family. Love, peace, and blessings. Shout out to Team Carmichael who provides our streaming ministry to my godson, Xavier, who helps me with these podcasts. And just thank those of you that have already shared and subscribed. And we ask you to share us and subscribe us with family and friends. If this message, if this podcast rather a blessing you, consider being a blessing and just share us and subscribe. Be a blessing to us. If you want to reach out to us, you can always reach us uh, at kgccatx.org. That's kgccatx.org. Our email is kgcc96 at gmail.com. That's kgcc96 at gmail.com. If you're in the Austin area, or if you're in the Austin area, you can always join us for one of our in-person services. We're on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. and Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. That's Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. and Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. We would love to have you in one of our services. Let's pray, <coughs> and then we'll continue to build on our sea life thought. Father, we thank you again as we gather in your word. We acknowledge you, and you say when we do so, you would direct us. So anoint messenger, message, and listeners in Jesus' name. Amen. God will finish what he started in you. Now, the last time I was with you, I quoted to you the voice translation. I want to begin this time with the message translation. It says this, watch this. There has never been the slightest doubt in my mind that God who started this great work in you will keep at it and bring it to a flourishing finish on the very day Jesus Christ appears. Hear that again. There has never been the slightest doubt in my mind. And why is Paul saying that there's never been the slightest doubt in his mind? Because he don't want the Philippian believers to believe for one minute that what God has begun in them, that he was through with them. The Philippians was Paul's favorite church. He never wrote anything negative to them because they was people that love God for real, just like a lot of you love God for real, even though you might be going through a tough time right now. It still has nothing to do with whether or not God is going to finish the work that he began in you. And Paul doesn't have a doubt about it. I don't have a doubt about it. And God doesn't want you to have any doubt about it. That's why he says, again, um, the message translation, there's never been the slightest doubt in my mind that God who started this great work in you will keep at it and bring it to, for, to a flourish, flourishing finish on the very, very day of Jesus Christ. And the last one I want to give you is the Amplified. Then we'll get deeper into this. The Amplified says, and I am convinced and sure of this very thing, that he who hath begun a good work in you will continue until the day of Jesus Christ. Watch this. Right up to the time of his return. You want to know how long God's going to be working on you and it's a good work? You'll see that later. Right up to Christ's return. Right up to the time of his return. Developing that good work and perfecting and bringing it to full completion in you. I want to pull on those of you that's old school church in this, this moment in podcast. I remember when we first came, when I first came to Christ and we would go to church, they used to sing an old song by Abba Tina Walker. That's way back. Some of you never heard of her name, Abba Tina Walker. But in the song that goes along with our seal, I thought God will finish what he began in you. Here are the lyrics, and I want to leave these lyrics in your spirit. We come into church, and it was a classic. Everybody loved it. They would sing, please be patient with me. God is not through with me yet. 
please be patient with me. God is not through with me yet. Then the next stanza would say, and when God gets through with me, when God gets through with me, I shall come forth. I shall come forth as pure, pure gold. Can I say to somebody to, today, you don't look like nothing what you're about to become in Christ. The kids, I think the kids say, don't let nobody steal your shine. You ain't got to worry about that with Christ because in the word, in the lyrics here, it says, I shall come forth as pure gold. I'm saying to you, I'm saying to me, just be patient. God is still working on you. And the finished product, you're going to come forth as pure gold. This is Pastor Fred Moore, Selah Moments. Love, peace, and blessings, beloved.